Most event-driven architecture patterns involve processing single-purpose events one at a time. The streaming pattern is a little bit different because instead of one event at a time, publishers will publish a stream of events, which is just a series of events in rapid succession, and subscribers will subscribe to that stream and they'll process the events in the order that it was received. And the most common example of the streaming pattern that we see in the real world is streaming audio and streaming video. So let's draw this pattern out and see what it looks like. Now at first glance, this is going to look really similar to the standard publish subscribe pattern. And in a lot of ways it is. We have our source system that is publishing events in response to a state change. We have our event bus that contains channels that the events are flowing through. And we have our subscribers that are listening to those channels to receive the events. Really, the only difference is that instead of publishing the events one at a time, we're publishing them in rapid succession, and the subscribers are receiving them in rapid succession, and they're processing each event in the order that they're received, and they're going to continue receiving and processing events as long as they're being published. 